we are going to discuss the fifth problem based on discrete time signals and systems and according to the problem there is a system which is defined by its impulse response hn and hn is equal to 2 power n multiplied to un minus 2 the system is option a says stable and causal option b says causal and not stable option c says stable but not causal and the last option option d says unstable and non-causal now by looking at the four options it is clear that we are required to find whether the system having this impulse response is a causal system or it is a non-causal system and apart from this we are also required to find whether the system is a stable system or it is an unstable system so this is our task and this question is an important question because we are going to understand what is the condition for a system to be causal and non-causal and what is the condition for a system to be stable and unstable so we will first discuss about the causality of the system according to the condition if the impulse response hn is equal to zero for all the values of n which are negative this means less than zero then we will say the system is a causal system so this is the condition for a system to be causal and if this condition is not satisfied then the system is going to be non-causal very simple let's move on to the condition of stability according to this condition a discrete time system is said to be stable if summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod hn is less than infinity this means when you calculate summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod hn you should get you should get some finite value that's why we have written less than infinity so whenever this condition is satisfied we can say that the discrete time system is a stable system now we will move on to the question we are having here in this case you can see that hn is equal to 2 power n un minus 2 so the impulse response of the discrete time system is equal to 2 power n multiplied to un minus 2 and we will first find out whether the system is causal or non-causal therefore we will check this condition and for this purpose we will focus on un minus 2 it is very easy to plot un minus 2 this is how the plot will look you can see that un minus 2 is equal to 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0 n is equal to 0 here and you can see that un minus 2 is equal to 0 for 1 when n is equal to 1 and it is 0 for n equal to 0 and it will remain 0 up to n equal to minus infinity therefore we can say this and from this plot it is clear that when you multiply 2 power n to un minus 2 you are going to get 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0 so hn is equal to 0 for all the values of n which are less than 0 the condition is satisfied and therefore we can say that the system we are having is a causal system and hence option c is incorrect and option d is also incorrect c and d are wrong options because here we have not causal 
in the option. Now we will focus on the stability and for that we will calculate summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod hn. This is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod 2 power n multiplied to un minus 2. This we can write as summation n equal to 2 to infinity. Because of un minus 2 we are performing the summation from 2 to infinity and then we have 2 power n mod 2 power n is equal to 2 power n and from here we can write 2 power 2 plus 2 power 3 plus all the way to 2 power infinity so the sum we are getting is equal to infinity this means we are not getting the finite value as the result of this summation and therefore we can say that the system we are having is unstable. So finally the answer is going to be option B. You can see that in option B we have causal and not stable. So this is the correct option. And this is all for this lecture. Remember the condition for a system to be causal, this one, and the condition for a system to be stable, this one.